This is a technique for moving through narrow spaces, such as a restaurant when you're trying to get from the front door through all of the tables to where you're gonna sit, grocery stores, and many other shopping locations. It can also be used for doorways, wherever you feel that there is not enough room for both of you to move through the space efficiently. You can do it with just a movement of the arm, but you can also let the person you're guiding know that the area ahead is narrow and that this technique must be used. So I could say, Cheryl, it's narrow. What I do is I take my arm, the one that she is hanging on to, and I extend it back behind me. As I do that, Cheryl feels that movement and responds by sliding her grip down to my wrist and we travel single file in this position. If you find this uncomfortable with your arm extended straight, you can also, as an alternative, bend your elbow and just put your wrist in the small of your back. The person you are guiding should keep their arm extended so that they're not walking and tripping on the backs of your heels. When you are through the narrow space, you can say, all clear, or you can simply move your arm back to your side and Cheryl will respond by going back into the basic human guide stance. As we go through, the guide must keep their upper body straight ahead because if they turn to look back, the person they're guiding could turn as well. So be sure to keep your upper body straight and it is the guide's responsibility to make sure that as you go through the narrow space, the person they're guiding doesn't hit anything. We recommend that you encourage your group members to seek the services of a certified vision rehabilitation professional to learn these types of skills. If you have any questions about leading a low vision support group, please call 312-236-8569 or email us at info at second-sense.org.